guys welcome back to my channel so I decided that I'm gonna braid my hair and also I'm gonna add extension to my hair and the extension that I'll be using is modern soft locks so this is the one that I'll be using this is what I'll be using so I've decided that I'm gonna braid my hair Today should be wash day for me, but I don't feel like washing my hair. So I'm going to braid my hair in about 12 pieces. And I'm going to add that extension to my hair. First time I'm doing something like this to my hair. I'm trying to remember if I ever done this, but I don't think I've ever done this to my hair. So, and since I pull my hair down, take my hair down, I was like, oh, my hair could wear just like this to work. I never have to do anything to it, really. But I've decided that I'm going to use the extension on my hair, the modern soft locks. So, guys, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe to my channel if you have not yet done so. So, I'm going to braid my hair in 12 pieces. So me, yeah. Alrighty. So I think I need a side part. Yeah. I need a side part. I'm gonna do a side part. booster to lay to make my hair smooth so this is what I'll be using and guys I start a journey about a week ago I'm trying to drink this amount of water daily and I'm being honest I'm seeing differences I'm seeing changes since I'm doing it so I'm into it one week now and I am seeing changes so I'm going to use this to smooth my hair. I want Melody. Too small. You, no. you want to, unless you're going to go to your bed now, Paris. I want Melody. You, you should ask him what you want, T. Oh, you're going to your bed now? Yeah, I want Melody. Okay, you can get your tea if you're going to bed. I want Melody. Okay. You ate all your orange? Yeah, I want Melody. Mm. So I'm using, I am using the um the phone as my mirror also. So you just see me looking into the camera. Head on, I am using the camera as a guide too. As to how I'm parting my hair and the direction my hair is supposed to be going. I supposed to fall.
I finish braiding my hair, right? So I wanted us to do it much smaller than this. Oh, much larger than this, not smaller, much larger than this. So I, remember I said I want to do about 12, 12 strands. This is more than 12. This is about 20 something. Not about, this is 20 something because I counted it. It's 22, two, two sections. See? So I am going to have the modern soft locks on my hair. This is it. I'm going to add it to my hair. So mm, let's see how it turns out. So guys, I'm almost finished putting in my locks. So I'm at the last two. So I'm going to show you how I do mine. So I must tell you, mm -mm -mm -mm, it's not an easy task. It's not at all. Especially the back part. So I'm just going to show you. So you notice mine are big. If you don't want yours to be as big, and you know like mine you just do smaller sections but i want this i want mine to be like this so i'm gonna this is this is not easy this is something that is challenging you might have to undo some while doing this process because sometimes you don't get it right but just stick to it you'll get it all right so i'm gonna put it here on the so i'm gonna see see i'm gonna lock this so when i'm pulling through it don't get tangled up with the hair so i pull through And then I'm see I'm opening the opening the hair to push it through. So I'm gonna put both ear through my hair and the braid and the locks. It is very challenging. I'm not gonna lie to you. Keep the braid up on the top and then you're going to pull as tight as possible even if it feel a little bit tight it won't stay tight for long then i'm going to unravel the root just a little bit the beginning of the hair unravel just a little bit so while i'm putting the hair over the braid or putting the locks over the braid i am unraveling the beginning of the braid so each 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 time i put over the unravel so uh, unravel so this is not really a tutorial i'm just showing you what i'm doing with my ear for the week because believe me i have to watch other videos to get this but i think i'll get it it was really challenging it was really challenging because when you get to the end of the ear, it's like, you do, it, it's, it's unraveling. So I have to come up with a method just to keep it from unraveling. But you will see. I'm just showing you what I'm doing to my ear. And I'm showing you how I, how I did it. How I get it done. So, see? So each time I wrap the hair around, I, I do this just to unravel it here a little bit and then I wrap it around see I don't really do these things often because it is challenging and it is time consuming also so just be prepared this is gonna take you a bit of time for me because I did my hair so big my section so big it takes me a little over two hours. So I had to get help from my daughter to do the back. Because the back was really hard to do on my own. So my daughter has to help me with the back of the hair. You see? Slightly. 
this. I like this braid. I like this locks. I really do. Because it's not heavy under here. And it is so light. <laughs> So when I reach almost to the end of the ear now, see my hair, see my hair at the end there, I push it through, see, I open it, and I'm going to push it through the locks, just to get a little grip on it or to get it um, tucked away, the hands to tuck away. So this was, this is the challenging part to disguise the hand of the hair and then I'm going to mm, I don't think it comes through properly so then I'm going to I use this now at the end of the hair this is the gorilla I don't know gorilla ear gel this is it Because when it was giving me so much problem, I'm like, what am I going to do to keep this here, to keep in place and not unravel? So see, I'm going to twist it in. I'm going to roll it in. So make sure when you're doing that, you're going in the direction of the locks, how it is locked. See, and I twist it in, roll it in. Right, and I just do it all the way down. I don't have the time to do in the small ones. I really don't. And this is it. See how it's looking. So I am gonna put some of the gorilla glue. It's not gorilla glue or gorilla snot. I don't know. And I'm gonna rub it in my hands, and I'm just gonna do like this, just to make sure it is in place. Oh, this look like it's done. See, see, it's not perfect, but all I want to know is that it's it's not unraveling. That's all I want to know. As long as it's not unraveling, I'm good. But I'm just showing you what I'm doing with my hair, as I had to watch a couple videos, and those videos, uh, they did they, most of them don't do it like mine. So I have to come up with something on my own. So this is what I came up with. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. All right, so I have another. All right, so this is the last one. So you're gonna do the same as you do as I show you this one. So alright. Mm -hmm. Remember you're gonna open the loop of the hair or the loop of the locks. open the loop of the locks what kind of fly is that all right so I'm gonna hook it put it on the hook and then I'm gonna close it so it don't tangles up in the hair itself and I pull it through remove the needle then I'm gonna open it a little bit more where two fingers can go through and I'm um, gonna pull both the locks and the braid into the loop so remember the hair the braid your hair should be on top and you're gonna pull as tight as possible not to pull to make your hair fall out but to pull enough to secure the style and then as I tell you see I undo here just a little bit to unravel and I'm gonna go over over and I unravel again see I unravel see 
to unravel and then I go over as I said this is not a tutorial but if you want to you know try to do this style I'm just showing you how I do to achieve what I do to achieve my locks on my braid I remember we shearing that's what we're doing on this platform I share anything I discover as long as it is you know beneficial to me or I think it's something that you guys would want to know about I just share it with you all so I am showing you how I'm doing my hair and this is how I'm gonna wear my hair for the week believe me because I can't bother washing my hair this week yeah, but I can't bother watching you this week, so I uh, me say, you know what? I was plan uh, planning to, you know, catch my hair up in a ponytail. And then, yes, then my daughter came with these braids. And I said, you know what? You know, I want to drop two of them in my in hair. You know. So. I like it. I do. I tried the, the shorter braid to this, the shorter locks, and I didn't like it because it weighs my hair down, pull on my scalp. So I didn't really like it. So see, see what I'm doing? I'm unraveling each time I go over. Alright, so I think it's time for me to tuck the hair now. Pull the hair through. So I'm going to pull the hand of the ear through the braid. So this is the difficult spot, you know. This is the difficult spot. So after I do that now, you see? It is the difficult spot. So after I do that, I try to wrap a little bit more. I try to put the locks over some more even one more wrap and then i'm gonna put the the glue on it let's see if i can keep it in place i was gonna do this and i just say you know what let me show you guys what i'm doing with my hair so whenever i remember to video i try my best to do so to include you guys in what I'm doing because sometimes I don't you know the time I won't allow me to do more videos or sometimes I'm doing things and it's after I finish doing what I'm doing I remember so see I try to secure it as much as possible so I just intertwine it or I don't know what you call it to sit around wrap it around my fingers and pull it all the way down and see it look like it's secure see so I tell you, I watched about two videos, snippets of about two videos, and the, I couldn't find a video that would show me really how to secure the end of my ear. One, my ear is tall, my ear is shoulder length. So most of the video that I'm seeing is people with some very tiny little bit of ear up on their head, so easier for them. So me enough to wrap it all the way down, to disguise the hen, the ends was a bit challenging but I figure it out so you see I come up with something and I like it all right so guys this is how my hair is looking mm -hmm. so the end product so as I said it's a bit challenging it's challenging along the way while doing it because I was trying to figure it out while I'm doing it especially when I reached to the end of the year it was hard to do you know for it to not it was hard to not make it unravel so it was unraveling each time i do it but as i tell you i figured out what to do when i reached to the end of the hair i opened the locks itself and push the hair through and wrap it wrap the locks around that piece that i pushed through and then i seal it with the girlish girlish snort or you can just use gel to seal it so I figured it out and this is how my hair is looking 
as I said this is not really a tutorial this is just me showing you what I'm what I'm doing with my hair so but I show you in case you want to do it also so this is how it's looking the back it's not as perfect as the front because I told you I had a little bit of struggles but the one that my daughter did it seems like some of them unraveling so I'm gonna have to go back through and you know do the one redo the one that she she did but besides that i can say me like it me not lie me like it me not lie because normally i don't really wear this type of hair on my head <laughs> i feel like a real rasta <laughs> but it look good to me so i did use the edge booster pomade to braid my hair for it to just lay a little bit and i used the girler Girl a snot and the pomeg <laughs> Lord Jesus I can't keep up <laughs> anyways so I use the edge booster on the root of my hair while I'm braiding my hair and to seal the end of the hair I use the girl a snot on the end of my hair to intertwine it with the locks so guys don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe to my channel if you have not yet done so. I appreciate you. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.